back to Smoking Jay's Garage. We're sitting in our 2020 242X Yamaha boat and we are going to put in a ribbon delete. Looks kind of like this. This is what your ribbon is. We're going to delete it. Now you're wondering why you need a piece when you do a delete. Very similar to like a muffler delete in a car. Sure you're cutting out your muffler but you need a piece of pipe that takes it this place of that muffler. So this is enclosed in a rubber housing and if you don't put something in place of it like this that rubber housing is going to suck itself into your engine and you're going to blow it up. So you want to actually put something in the place. You can't just pull this out and put that rubber back in. So uh, let me show you what we got to do. You're going to need a 12 millimeter socket. You're going to need a 10 millimeter socket. Obviously a ratchet to go along with it. And uh, a couple of screwdrivers. I found that a snubby one works good for getting that screw. And uh, when you're actually pulling this ribbon out, a little screwdriver is easy to pry out with. Also, uh, when you put these screws back in, you're going to want to use some blue Loctite. Make sure they don't back out on you. So just a quick reference of what we're going to do here. We're going to pull off the air box. We're going to pull off the throttle body. We're going to pull off the spacer. And then the ribbon that we want is right inside of here. So that's where we got to get to. And unfortunately, you can't really get a wrench on these without pulling the carburetor or the fuel and uh, throttle body, I'm sorry, off first. So that's what we're going to do. So the first thing that we're going to do is pull this out of the way here. You can just twist this a little bit and it'll slide right out. Move that out of the way. Uh, you're going to loosen up this hose clamp right here and then you're going to pop this off and, and wiggle your air box out. All right, we just wiggled off the uh, air box or the air filter. The box is still in there. We're just going to set this off to the side. And we are going to take a, sorry, 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter, there's going to be one, two, three, four. We're going to loosen up. Actually, we're going to completely take out those four bolts. That's what's holding your throttle body on. So watch when you get your last one out because this is going to come off. All right, I'm pulling the last one out right now. That loosens up our throttle body. And I am going to just kind of move this over to the side. I'm going to set it right over here on top of the air filter. Make sure you don't get that dirty. I like to have a rag with me just to wipe everything away here. Make sure there's nothing on there that's going to get inside of there. Now this gasket right here, I'm going to reuse. So I'm going to pull this gasket off very carefully. All right, you don't want to ruin that. I'm going to reuse that gasket. And now I'm going to pull 10 millimeter. I'm going to pull these four bolts off. One, two, on the bottom side, three, four. Start pulling those off. All right, so we just pulled this off. Set this off on the side here. And right here is our ribbon. You're going to get just a little screwdriver or something very carefully because this is rubber and you don't want to ruin it. And just start prying that ribbon out. You're going to have to go all the way around slowly. Take your time. Just pull it out a little bit at a time. All the way around until you actually get an, out enough that you can get your hand on it. But we are going to reuse this rubber. So be careful not to ruin it. I can get my hand on there or not. We'll get a little more. Alright, I think I just about just about got it. Now watch the way that this goes in. There we go. You see we've got uh, like fins on it. So you want those fins, when you're putting it back in, it's going to push in easily. It's going to pull back out hard. So all we've got to do now is just slide this ribbon out. Like so. And your ribbon delete should have an arrow on it. That's the airflow. So obviously that's going to go in, which is the same way. That this is and we're just going to slide this back around 
this should actually fit inside now this is tapered slightly so it's bigger coming into a little bit smaller um, you can't really see it you can feel it a little bit that's why it's got an arrow so don't put it the wrong way and you're just gonna take this right here slide it back in make sure you get it nice and flush There we go, and now all we gotta do is put this stuff back together. So we are gonna uh, make sure you don't have any dirt or anything along these edges. Uh, and uh, like I mentioned before, I think I mentioned before, we're gonna wanna use some uh, blue Loctite as we put these back on. You can see these had some kind of like white silicone-ishy Loctite. So they pulled, the screws pulled out hard all the way because they were Loctited in there pretty good. But we're gonna put a little bit of blue Loctite on there and we're gonna start putting this back together. All right, we got that tight. I could not find the actual torque specs for that. If you know what they are, please leave them in the comments for everybody else. Uh, once we got that on, I went just good and snug. Make sure we get our gasket. And I'm gonna get uh, a little bit of Loctite on there right away. I like to get one started right away. That's how I did the other one too. Make sure we put this on the right way. Just get one started just a little bit so that you can still move your gasket for all the other ones once you get those Loctited. All right. Those are snug. The only thing left to do is wiggle this back in place. Uh, my uh, hose clamp came off of there. Make sure that you put that back on before you put it on. Otherwise, that's going to be pretty hard to get back on. Uh, slide that back on. And getting that off was probably the hardest thing on both sides. Just get it in there, wiggle it in. You got six clips. Make sure you get all six of those on. Keep in mind, in order to remain Coast Guard compliant, you must have some type of... Uh, flash retardant something and if you take out this ribbon which is what that is is a flash arrester you need to put in something like a uh, fireproof air filter or something of the sort in order to remain Coast Guard compliant just that's something to keep in mind uh, we're not gonna take this out on the water today but we will make a video as soon as we get it on the water and we'll tell you if we could feel or, or uh, notice any difference in it if we get a little more power maybe a little more out the bottom maybe I've heard a little more RPMs on the top end. We also put the new thrust vectors on uh, right before we started filming this. We just finished putting those on, so we're going to get out on the water, and we're going to test those out as well. So make sure you stay tuned, and uh, make sure you subscribe. So I'm going to put this back on and uh, fire it up, make sure it works. If you're watching this video for the first time, actually, if you're watching this channel for the first time, it's probably your first time watching this video. Uh, make sure you subscribe.